Hi, Dr. Valerie here. Today I'm going to talk about estradiol versus estriol applied topically to the skin, which is safer. So I will say estriol E3, which is the gentlest of estrogens, is much more safer to apply to your skin than to apply estradiol to your skin. So a lot of people right now on social media are huge about you know skin wrinkles and skin tonicity and putting on estrogen cream. And I've gotten so many questions, especially on our podcast, on our YouTube podcast, about can I put my estradiol on my face? And I usually recommend no, especially to my patients too, because I have a lot of patients I've worked with for 20 years on putting estriol on their face, is I'm very hesitant and I say no to the estradiol on the face. I know other doctors talk about it, but for me, I'd rather put estriol because I find that it's much more effective and it's also safer. And that's because we have a couple of different receptors in our skin for estrogen. There's estrogen receptor A, alpha, I call it A, E-R-A, estrogen receptor alpha, and then there's estrogen receptor beta. So we have the E-R-B and the E-R-A. And estradiol has an affinity for both, but much more of an affinity for the estrogen receptor alpha which those, we have lots of ERAs or estrogen receptor alphas in our breast tissue, in our uterine lining, endometrial lining, in our uterus. So when you're entering in that estradiol into your skin, even putting it on topically, our skin, it can still go into the bloodstream, is it can stimulate those receptors causing, you know, thick, I've seen thickening of the endometrial lining, I've seen spotting, I've seen breast tenderness. So I usually, say don't apply your estradiol cream to your face for wrinkles. You can use estradiol when you're doing it systemically for menopause, but you always are check, you know, checking the hormone levels. But estriol is really safe topically because estriol does, has a very, very weak affinity for the estrogen receptors um, alpha, but it has a huge affinity for estrogen receptor beta. And estrogen receptor beta, which I've said in other videos, we have a lot of that in our skin that the estrogen receptor beta does help increase of collagen production. It helps with elasticity. It helps with hyaluronic acid. It helps with those gags to help with hydration, which is, oh, I'm, I always mess up this word, glyco glycos aminoglycans, gags, that helps hold on to water so it helps your skin have that nice hydration to it because every single cell in our body has, is hydrated. So when you're using estriol for the face, it's so much more safer than using estradiol, honestly. And also I find it way more effective if you're looking at that collagen production, the hydration production, and also to help reduce down inflammation because our skin has its own lipid membrane barrier and you're always trying to keep that inflammation down and estriol is excellent for that. So again, um, estriol is much safer applying it to the face than estradiol. Uh, thanks for watching.